Thanks for staying with us. I'm Bill O'Reilly. In the Is It Legal segment tonight, three interesting situations, including a lawsuit against Nancy Grace. Here now, attorneys and Fox News analyst Kimberly Guilfoy and Lisa Wheel. So, Wheel, we're going to begin with the Chris Christie Bridgegate deal. Right. So, the investigations, I guess there is a federal investigation. Federal investigation. And there's a state investigation. Legislative right? investigation. Okay. Right. So, the state wants to get emails, right? Emails. About, about what happened when the traffic backed up to right. Virginia right. Uh, on the George Washington Bridge. So they're asking the two people involved. One was an advisor to Christie. The other was uh, somebody who ran his campaign mm -hmm. to hand over the emails. And they're saying no. Why? Fifth Amendment. Emails, texts, personal communications between these two. They're now former. They're not with them anymore. Personal emails. And they're saying in this hearing, which lasted three hours today, wait, we have the Fifth Amendment right not whoa, to whoa, whoa, incriminate whoa, whoa, ourselves I, and turn but, things over. That Bridget are Kelly worked work for the state of New Jersey. Her right. email systems aren't her own. They're the state's property. No, but they asked for personal emails as well and personal texting. So it's not just there. Right, and it's, it's not, not just differentiated. So they wanted all the stuff too. on her cell phone and Everything. all of that. Sure. And I looked at okay. the subpoena. I mean, it's very broad. So I think they should hand it over if they're innocent. They're not going to, though. Their Wouldn't lawyers are charming? advising them, and probably rightly so. Mm -hmm. So you think you the a... courts will say they don't have to hand over the, the emails? The only way really? the courts will say you have to hand over these emails yeah. is if the legislative committee comes and says to them, we will give you immunity from anything that you hand over to us. That normally would be enough to get rid of the Fifth Amendment. It's it. it won't happen here no. because there's still, they as you pointed, them. there's the federal but I understand investigation. Because because I, 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 these I, are the two big targets, let's right. be right. honest. There's 32 subpoenas. And they're the ones that could lead to Christie Exactly. if they flipped and said, Hey, the governor, right. and this is speculation. That's the I mean, we don't know of like the that. alleged crime. But if be. the if the subpoena went to the governor's office. Mm -hmm. Then the governor could order them to hand it over, right? The governor could order, but still not those personal not emails. The not the personal. The things. Fifth Amendment will always protect them unless they get complete you can't immunity. You can connect the right. tie okay. in. So the okay. Fifth so Amendment right here is probably going to be inviolable. So the, so the bottom line is it's stymied right now. It's just right. going to be. I was going to say that the story is basically where it was, right. and they have to decide. Decision on Decision by the Amendment. end of the month expected. Okay. You got it. All right. Now, uh, Nancy Grace, you know Nancy Grace, right? Yes, I she worked for her. She has a show on uh, Headline News. Right. I worked with her. All right. And so she says the scapegoat guy, mm -hmm. the Kennedy nephew, who was accused of killing a long time ago in Connecticut. Right. She says on the air, on her show, that that Skakel's DNA was found near the scene of the crime. Is that correct? Right. Well, it was an interview with the headline news correspondent, Beth Karras, who I also used to work with at Core TV, and Nancy asked the question, a series of dialogue back and forth, kind of delicate subject matter about him leaving some DNA in a tree. Isn't that right? Beth Kerr says, yes, it is. But it wasn't. But that is inaccurate information. It didn't happen. Incorrect. But what they're saying that the, if you take the whole sum and substance of what was said during that television show, it's substantially true. Right, let, That's let's the listen. Defense. Let's listen to what Miss Grace did. Go. Kennedy cousin and nephew convicted of murder in 2002, a single trial judge one judge has reversed a murder conviction on the Kennedy nephew. As you all know, Michael Skakel was convicted in 2002 in the murder of 15-year-old Martha Moxley. All right, that wasn't the DNA thing, but that shows that, that uh, Miss Grace is not well disposed toward Gakel. So anyway, this goes on. Mm -hmm. so they try to get it thrown out. Uh, mm -hmm. Time Warner, they lost. The judge says you can pry it. Yeah, Judge so Vanessa Bryant said that this is going to proceed forward yeah. on a defamation case. So it's, you know, it's very serious. And of course, there's been a number of So you of would settle on. it, right? Well, uh, there's been a couple other cases that were settled. Sometimes lawyers will advise you to do that, even if you do not yeah. feel that you are in the wrong. She's saying it's substantially Ms. true. could get a lot of money the, here. The judge said he's asking also for yeah. the penalty. I just damages. want to be clear, though. There was no DNA from Skakel at the crime scene. That's correct? correct. Okay, so she's toast. She's toast. Okay, now, this is a terrible story. A viewer warning here. It's, it's awful. There's a little girl with her mother on a bus in Philadelphia. The mother is under the influence of drugs. Mm -hmm. Roll the tape. All right, so nobody did anything about nobody it. Nobody did anything. The, mm -hmm. the mother and the girl got off at their bus stop, right. but the video then was posted, as all video is. Now the state of Pennsylvania has to go after the mother. Well, they found, they found the mother. They located the mother. Right. They located and the, the child. child. They have not 
put any kind of arrest warrant out for her. They have sent the Department of Health Services to investigate. So they're Are they allowed to drug now. test the mother? Are they allowed to do that well, if the, they suspect the mother is a drug addict? The, the Department of Health yes. absolutely okay, can. Okay, so they can compel the mother to submit to a drug test. So here's right. my question on this. If the mother is a drug addict right. and turns up dirty on the test, can the state take the child away? Yes, they can say that that is neglect and or abuse. So if state. you are a drug addict, Mm -hmm. All right, you can lose custody uh, of your children. Of course. Yeah, you don't have the right no. to keep children well, and put say, them in a dangerous course. or if neglectful if you're, if environment. If you fit in the legal definition of neglect or abuse, right. and you say, do you, you know how many millions of children are living in homes I'm where terrible. their parents are in? So I don't know. sell, of course. I'm saying, but it I isn't easy. Legally, you ask it isn't question, easy to do. That's happen. why there's no charges even being no. brought against this mom. They can open an investigation, a file against her. They can make trips to the house to see if there's any ongoing suspicion of drug right. abuse and that's or child abuse or neglect. And they should. One of the things that's so disturbing about this is this tape went on for you just showed just a few minutes of it or seconds of it. It went on for minutes. Right. People going back and forth and nothing happened. I, you but know, I, no I just feel so sorry for the children of Very these sad. derelict parents. They I'm deserve using a word better. Like Crowley and Combs on deck. Sarah Palin once again being called names by the left. Why does this continue to happen? Right back with it.